Hey, what's up, people? It's yours, Trudy P. D. Green, the 808 King, 808 Kings vs. City Cartel. Um, I'm going to give you a short but brief. I will come back and actually do a full tutorial on this, but I just want to speak on it and put this up on YouTube because there's a lot of guys that's giving um, an explanation on this software known as the MPC 2.2 or 2.0 and whatnot and which actually is connected to the MPC Live, the MPC Touch and the MPC X series. Um I use this now as well as machine and whatnot. Okay. So now what I figured out, I've been like I had to go and search a couple of tutorials about how to track out, you know what I'm saying, from this Door and everything to actually separate my tracks and put them into a door like Pro Tools or a door like um, Logic, you know what I'm saying? Or the, or the many others that's out there, you know what I'm saying? Studio One, etc. etc. So, what I found is there's a lot of guys giving an explanation on this, but they're not giving you the full explanation. I don't know <laughs> what it is and how they missed out on certain certain aspects. And there's a couple, quite a few that's given this one direction on how to actually track out. And what that is, they'll tell you to go, it's in song mode right now, right? So what they'll tell you to do is to hit this right here where it says convert sequence and whatnot. And what it does, it sends the whole song to a sequence track, right? And then what you do, you gonna go over here and whatnot, and you hit this button, this drums right here, hit the home screen, bam, which gonna bring you to this screen right here. Now along this line right here, there's this program for those who do the drum tracks. Now what it does, the program will separate any of your uh, VSTs and stuff if they're on a different track, because each time you open up a VST on here. It actually automatically, you know, opens up a new track. Now your drums, for instance, on the pads and everything, in most cases, you'll end up on whatever <clears throat> program and track that you start on. Let's say, for instance, if you start off on track one and your program is program one and whatnot with your drums. Okay, what happens is though they look like they're divided up and everything they're not actually separated so when you go to track out what's going to happen is in your folder it's going to track out all the vsts separate your bass line your keys your organs pianos etc etc it's going to track those out separately but your drums is going to be all congealed together on one track just to show you what i mean give you an idea where i'm coming from with this if i go to track four this track four if you notice it's muted because what happens is when you go to this screen right here and whatnot, nope, this one right here, thank you. Right here is your drum tracks. Every drum sound is on here and whatnot. Now what you end up having to do, you end up having to, to do something that they call explode tracks where you go up here and you go to edit and whatnot and you come down to track and if you notice right here, there's a whole large selection of, you know what I'm saying, different options that you have. And this one right here is the one that splits your, your drum tracks up. It's called Explode. Now, the thing is, one of the ways that you do it is when you bounce it out of song mode and whatnot into a sequence, like I have right here. I'll show you right here. Sequence 5, right? This sequence right here is the actual whole song. I'll just give you an example. This is the actual whole song out on one sequence. Right? So, one of the ways that you track out your drums on here, you can go right here to where well, my drum track is on track four and on program one. And you do explode, and when you hit explode, all of these is gonna come up. This is all my drum tracks right here. But if you notice, every drum track, kick, snare, hi-hat is all on program one. So even when you do it this way, 
to keep it real with you and whatnot. When you go to actually um export it out, what you have to do by going here, clicking this again, hitting the file, coming down to export. And when you open that, this window's open up and you export as an audio mix down. It actually, you know what I'm saying, separates the track that way. So I'm not knocking the guys who um, actually explained on how to do it in that manner. I'm kind of old school at MPC using stuff, you know what I'm saying? I've been using MPC since 14 years of age. I've owned almost every MPC, you know what I'm saying, drum machine that they ever made, all the way up to the 1,000 and whatnot. The 5,000, 4,000, I've owned pretty much all of them. You know what I mean? Outside of having an SP-1200, SR-10, and we can just go on. The list goes on. Um, what I found is another way to do it. Now, let's say, for instance, for you guys, this is actually a short way, and it's a cool way to do it. I'm not going to knock it and everything. But let's say, for instance, if you have already put your song into, arranged into song mode, it's already there. Bam. It's a whole song. Right? Now, before all these little tracks right here popped up, it was like my main keys and stuff, and then my drums all on one track and everything. If you notice, there's a blank session right here and stuff. And what that is, that's a track that's muted and whatnot. Now, what happens is, in the same way that you would go here and do your explode tracks on this track, on track four, to create to separate all your drum tracks you would do the same thing you know what I'm saying if you have already created in some mode the only difference is you have to go to each track you know what I'm saying I mean each on um, sequence excuse me and whatnot and do the explosion on the track where your drums is at on each sequence you have to do that you create it then what you would do you would go you come out of here and go to go back to your home screen, and this screen is gonna pop up. So if you see this right here, it says program 001. What you do, you will right click on this and you will duplicate it as many times as you got drums. Like for instance, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight drum tracks. So you would duplicate that program eight times. And whatnot, and then you go over here to your track, and everything. Because once you once you um you explore the tracks, you're gonna be able to look in here, and you'll see in your track listing, you'll see all those drum sounds already separated right here. So you go click on each one. Now what they don't tell you is that over here where the program is, after you make your eight programs, you have to name them and everything, and then you play the match game. If you if you um load up the kick, this fat kick, you know what I'm saying, track six and whatnot, you wanna make sure that right here, excuse me, right here, fat kick is also selected on the program. And it's right over here. So what you do once you make those copies and whatnot, you go down and you name each one, fat kick, snare, whatever you go name it, whatever your sound is named, and then you just match them up. You know what I'm saying? By going right here to this window right here. And whatnot, and selected it, clicking on it on the program, and you go scroll down. Because once you name it, they're, they're gonna list right here, and then you just match them up. Simple. It's sad they didn't explain that to, to a lot of guys that's getting the MPC Touch and MPC Live. And I seen a couple dudes taking many shortcuts talking about. Um, <laughs> one guy was, was speaking on. Um, Bouncing it, his whole joint out to a sequence, and then arranging it by hitting mute, playing with him record, and hit mute, you know what I'm saying, on certain parts and all that stuff. Like, that is like such a long and wrong way to arrange a track. If it works for you, I have no issue with it. If it works for this guy, you know what I'm saying, I have no issue with it. But to me, that's a long way out because let's say, for instance, you running the track and you hitting the mute. And you hit the mute at the wrong time. So you just messed up a whole darn track. You know what I'm saying? You got to go back and unmute and do all the extra stuff and everything. When the best thing to do is just to sequence your joints out and stuff. And then add them up and create your sequences. Now, to shortcut all the BS and stuff. When you start your track on your first sequence. Go ahead and go over here. To this window right here. 
and go to that track where your drums is at and go ahead and hit and explode it out and then go ahead and go back to this window and then copy that same program that you own the multiple times that you have you know what I'm saying drum tracks and stuff and pretty much um you know what I'm saying match them up then you copy your sequences and you build your song structure from there. That way, you get you it alleviates all the BS and the headache that you're going to incur once you've actually tracked out a whole song. You know, I tried some of the um the tutorials and stuff, and some of them I tried it it did not explain fully. Matter of fact, it's sad that one of them is from some from professional brothers who deal with this software and whatnot, and they didn't fully explain. It. They just told you to do the typical explode tracks, and that's it. But only thing that does, it just explodes, you know what I'm saying, and uh, separates your VSTs and your drum tracks is all on one track. And there are some producers who actually do beats like that where they have everything all on one track. Kicks, snare, hi-hat, nothing is separated and stuff and whatnot. Which is like, how is it, how is it that they, uh, when you take it to an engineer into a studio, how is it he's going to actually have access to actually separate those tracks and actually equalize and put punch on this drum or compression on this drum or you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And I think what there's some producers' ego trip, especially those who think they can mix and whatnot, they ego trip and whatnot and figure, I can mix my own drums and stuff. I want my drums to sound the way I want them to sound. And honestly, your ear, if it's not, if you're not a trained engineer and stuff, you shouldn't even think like that. You know what I mean? And I'm just keeping it 100 solid. So with that being said, man, I thought I would share this, you know what I'm saying, in place of those many tutorials that I went through tonight and everything until I finally figured it out. There's also another way you could track out on here, which I found too, where you can go here and I'm going to share this with y'all. And you can click on here and you can go to mono outputs and there's a whole list. You can actually separate each, each drum track, each pad and stuff into its own output and whatnot. But anyway, that's all I got to say, man. You know, Shout out Native Instruments too, because you guys make it actually a lot easier and stuff to track out and whatnot. A lot way more easier and everything. I think I kinda dropped the ball on that one. But I love the software. You know what I'm saying? I've been working with machine for like almost about three, four years now. And I I'll say that MPC or Kai, you guys stepped it up with this software. Loving it. Alright, thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody. And make sure y'all check out my page on beatstars.com. PDA to wait. I got beats up. I will be loading up. It's under construction right now. But you can access and check out some of my sounds. And that's what it is. I'll let your boy, Petey.